What's great, my gente? It's your boy Sebastian, and I am back with another video. to this channel please make sure to subscribe you know that helps me a lot and also give this video a big thumbs up uh, I am doing another spiritual session yes so today we are going to talk about like new year things so la letra del año just came out the letter of the year and it's basically um, a letter that a bunch of santeria priests and papalaos uh, put together every year that gives future predictions about the year now santeria i don't think is the only religion that has that i think there are other religious sects that have similar things but there is obviously a culture in more spiritual uh, traditions about you know prophesizing and oracles and i think it's really really important important for people to read these letters and read these prophecies so that they could understand what the new year brings to them we have to make our goals and when we write down our goals we have to make sure that they make sense and that they're achievable as well and anything is achievable if you put your mind to it but there is also sometimes forces of you know destiny that show that it is not the right time to do something at this very moment. I personally like to wait a few days into the new year when the Letras del Año come out. Uh, I'm going to be reading from the Cuban one actually and because that one is like my personal favorite. Um, so I'm going to be reading from that one, getting some of their prophecies and then writing down my new year goals and you know resolutions let's say uh, according to La Letra del Año. So let's get into it. The first thing that we should do is read it, of course. So I will link it down below. It is in Spanish, but the Google translation for once is actually pretty much perfect. So I am reading the Google translation of it. I do speak Spanish, but you know, I'm not gonna speak in Spanish in this video and like translate every single thing because that takes way too long and I got my clothes on, so I can't really breathe, you know, for that long. Deity, the Saint Orisha, who rules 2019, is Oshun the Yoruba deity of femininity, love, great protector of the family. And then the holy accompanying Orisha is Ogun, the Yoruba deity of strength, war, forge, and metals. So it's interesting that, you know, the ruling uh, deities of this year are Oshun, love, and Ogun, war. A brief message of the sign, Orumila resolves everything and makes it true. So um, again, like Orumila, Mila, who is one of the, uh, you know, the most powerful Orishas in the faith, he resolves everything. So when things seem like they are falling apart, he resolves it, he, uh, you know, makes it true so he can, you know, make your dreams come true and resolves uh, your Osobo, your, um, you know, your misfortunes and you can make your dreams or your blessings manifest. Events of social interest, problems will continue in the agricultural sector, mainly in the production of food, vegetables, and uh, fruit as a result of the low fertilization of soils and little to no investment in arable lands. Penetration of the sea that can cause floods and landslides as they have happened before. Increase of migratory conflicts that can give rise to severe problems. The danger and threat to natural catastrophes of all kind will continue. Disputes and confrontations due to intellectual rivalries and lack of organization, education, and communications. And space exploration will have positive results. There's three main things here that say, uh, you know, that have to do with la naturaleza, like, you know, the nature and the environment. So I think the first thing that we should write down is to be more mindful of the... Uh, environment and the role that we play in it. Now also remember that being mindful of the environment is not always necessarily just you know throwing away your water bottles or like you know recycling all the time because yes the actions of individuals are important but also companies are the biggest polluters so make sure to hold companies accountable 
do not buy or try and buy as little as possible from a company that is does terrible things to the environment. Disputes and confrontations due to intellectual rivalries and lack of organization, education, and communication. I think this is important because one of the goals that I've been had forever is to start reading more books. So one of the things I want to get into is to just be more, uh, you know, literally aware, literally aware, like literally aware. Um, you know, just read more books, you know, be a little bit more uh, educated about different subjects. So let's try like one book every two weeks. And also being a more mindful um, and patient communicator. Sayings of the sign. Now let's get into this. Let's see what the sayings of the sign are. What is left is not picked up again. Okay, important tea, girl. Uh, one does not get the arrow without first going to the battlefield, aka the previous preparation is incredibly important in all facets of life. Um, the knife itself is not made. You always need the help of other people. That's like the other way of saying it. Um, hand alone for its tail. And to win, you have to lose. Sometimes, AKA, sometimes the losses prepare us as if it were a sacrifice to get future luck. All right, so this I think is really, really important to get into. Goal number four is what is left is not picked up again. So I think, you know, that means being able to let go of things once you leave them so once you leave them to be able to commit to actually leaving something if it is toxic for you now the first thing that i know y'all gonna say is like oh like a man or like a relationship or like a toxic friendship yes that's basically it but there are also other things one does not get the arrow without first going to the battlefield it's like they were literally talking to me because i uh, guys like i am so disorganized like i actually have like a little bit of an issue because sometimes like like, I'll just jump into something and I think that's because I have like a very like ambitious nature combined with like you know being Latino and like you know being lazy and like you know not doing nothing so I think that for me one of the things that I have to get better at is organization and preparation so if I want to do something in two weeks I got to prepare for it from now especially if it's something significant especially if it's something important so I am definitely going to write that down uh, be more prepared knife itself is not made aka you always need the help of other people so I am definitely somebody who goes at it alone but do more collabs be more collaborative I think that that is important and all right so prohibitions and taboos this is important because I think that when you uh, you know look at like prohibitions taboos whatever you can say like oh i'm gonna do something this year i want to do it but like if you are prohibited from doing it that's usually for your best the letter of the year only is for this year so it's not like you are prohibited from doing something forever it's that right now is essentially not the right time so don't feel discouraged don't feel like you're missing out on once in a lifetime opportunity if it approaches you because it will come back these kinds of things are because something greater is in store for you you should avoid unnecessary anger to avoid losing your property during the year uh, you should never eat or use rodents uh to avoid a setback girl well i'm not eating no rats so that's okay um, you should never divide any of your nuclear relationships, children, spouse, to prevent them from dispersing and eventually losing them. I think that I'm going to try and, and I'll write this down, uh, call all of my family members at least twice a week. Um, you should never borrow starting capital for any type of business to avoid incurring a debt that could be difficult to pay. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't need to borrow any startup capital because like I'm like a freelancer or whatever so I don't really need like money but it is interesting for people that are starting businesses now is not the year to borrow starting capital to take out loans wait until next year please be careful um, I think that this year if you do do it you'll have more difficulties paying off that debt so you know just be mindful of that of course you know, if you're already in agreement, you have to go through with it. But um, it will be difficult to pay 
maybe more difficult than it would be in a different year so just please be mindful and if you feel like you can put it off for a year let's put it off for a year there is here recommendations so these are general recommendations and not necessarily taboos or signs or anything like that so this is i think this is the last part no this is the second last part and you know i'll hop out and let y'all you know continue with your life so anyways um, recommendations of the uh, of Santeria for the year 2019. Signs that warn about the danger that waste and lack of control over resources can generate, as well as this terrible planning. So you know, make sure to put pressure on y'all urban planners, on y'all politicians this year. Get this infrastructure fixed up because every country I go to has trash infrastructure. The roads are always falling apart. So you know, make sure to put pressure on you know these bitches and you know get your roads fixed. It is, re it is recommended to avoid the misuse of chemical products and agricultural production. I would never use chemical products anyways, but you know, if obviously if you're a farmer and you're watching me on YouTube, this urban girl, then you know, do what you gotta do. Um, beware of epidemics and diseases. Oh girl, I'm gonna get those little like Chinese masks. You know, be covered at all times because you know I'm not trying to catch nothing. Avoid clashes and brawls. Oh, girl, you know I was gonna fight somebody, but anyways, I guess not this year. Uh, it is recommended to maintain an appropriate religious behavior, faithful to the precepts of Ifa and Orisha faith. So I think I will write that down. Um, I try and act in a very Yoruba way all the time, but it is also uh, important to read more and learn more about behavior because generally a lot of people use Santeria as like something that you use as like a spiritual system to get what you want. So like, you know, when life is hard, you make Ebo or like sacrifice in order to get something. Um, or hurt somebody or do something to somebody, you know, and that's like Palo and all of that. But it's interesting that, um, you know, in terms of society and interactions, we generally pull from Christian theology and, you know, Christian social systems. So I think, uh, you know, one of the most important things this year is read more about Odishaism, uh, you know, get more books on it, get more books on like how Yoruba societies were structured, speak to more padrinos and babalaos if you are a member of the faith. So, you know, I certainly don't read enough books on my faith. Um, so I am definitely going to write that down. Um, avoid problems with justice. Oh girl, trust me, this girl's not getting no more arrested this year. Increases in venereal diseases resulting from sexual debauchery. Good thing this busy's closed. Um, make better use of agricultural resources even when putting them in the hands of those who can actually produce the resources. Uh, girl, I, I'm like, I don't farm, so like, I don't have a lot to say about this. Um, a balance is recommended in all orders. It is recommended to reinforce Ogun. See the godparents about this. I mean godparents, I wish I could, you know, be more helpful on this. Uh, be careful with the parents' excessive consent to their children. Ah, girl. Orisha is to speak in the letter of the year 2019 for the Yoruba Association of Cuba. Uh, IFA, global direction, realization of projects, and being victorious, spiritual elevation, general well-being. Oh, good for me because, you know, I have to realize a few victorious projects, girl. It's true. To avoid difficulties and achieve the defeat of enemies and adversaries. Personal fulfillment. I always love this because, like, I'm like, who are my enemies? But, you know, I'm sure they're somewhere. I'm sure I got some haters. Um, Egbe, to obtain leadership and success already so that our destiny is adequately projected on the earth support refuge and prosperity ogun he must be asked for the expiration of enemies protection and support Chango for the defeat of enemies obtaining leadership and direction in the spiritual life ajir for financial stability and self-sufficient and being self-sufficient well i am already self-sufficient but you know i would like some more financial stability please so you know i'm definitely making able to you ajir but i uh, definitely need to take this to a paladino somewhere i think i actually gotta go to the states next month and you know get this worked one so anyways i just wanted to show you a little bit more about la letra del año i wrote down my little one two goals for this year uh that are compliant of course with la letra del año so if you have something similar in your religious system i would love to hear about it what do the oracle say in your system what are you doing this year and i hope that some of the things that we touch on today in this video can help you write down your goals a little bit 
bit more and go into 2019 with a little bit more clarity very very important so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up uh, you know make sure to subscribe 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 and you know watch my last videos as well I'll link one like maybe here and here. Can I do that? Can I link two at once and like on one side on the other side? Anyways, girl. So uh yes, so please make sure to comment down below. Let's start a little discussion. And I hope this helps. Thank you so much for coming to one of my other spiritual sessions, girl. And have a great night. Mwah.